Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and welcome you to our 43rd lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. We always do 40 minutes, so I'll go straight into our timer and start our business without wasting any minute. So we are now on mastering uh, the what? Uh, the mobile application. Uh, so we saw that uh, these numbers for the beginning or for the status we can get rid of them and uh, link the user to the dashboard where they can view everything okay so right now we're going to do that logic we're going to remove those numbers and then uh, we link the user to the dashboard as we agreed okay so let's go ahead and work on that logic so instead of putting here sales we can just put my sales my product okay and uh, or you can just simply put the item on top and then the description in the, big, uh, in the bottom, okay? So let's, just go, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so shall come to our menu route, okay? To our menu route. And then after, we're going to just switch this title should come on top, okay? And the description should come on the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be S and this is going to be uh, T and then save okay so sorry it's going to be the counter here and then save so after doing that uh, I see we have a, a problem uh, I think we can solve this by making it uh, expanded I hope it's not going to crash everything okay so let's try to make it max max lines and make it one okay still it's a problem and say maybe uh, text overflow I mean overflow ellipses seems a problem uh, let's make it expanded uh, you know that's going to make it now worse expanded oh it's making it worse uh so should we do here surround it with the row let's try to sound the row uh, okay. sound it with the row see row and then put expanded inside the row yeah let's make it worse ah so how are you going to go through that again so that we just keep it small words i'm uh, going to keep it small word is because expanded is already here so we put expanded inside and expanded it brings problems okay uh, if you just simply put your text let's see I think I can go with that. But if we wrap this one to a column, I don't know. Okay. Alright, so I get the point. 
Pressure K. Okay, so only we need to wrap this one with expanded, I think. Let's see. Expanded. Yeah, no, it is okay. So this column is not wrap with expanded, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. Okay. So let's go ahead and now uh, do the finishing on top there. So maybe you can put just some size height of five. Yeah, so I mean, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. I don't know whether. Yeah, I think we can just go with that. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, so we shall come here to our menu route, our menu route, our menu route, and then come and uh, come and what? Come and. Uh, so cells, we come and describe cells. Yeah, cells. Maybe we can say um, manage, manage. So I can put here my cells. Manage your cells. Maybe in one place. <laughs> yeah, manage your cells in one place. I can say maybe manage all your cells in one place all right so uh, let's go ahead and maybe change this subtitle to be like kind of gray i don't know make it gray color because that black is maybe too sharp yep i think that is okay maybe let's make it 800 make it So I think make it primary, primary, and make it a little bit light. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Go back to main route. So here, manage all your cells in one place. Can you put a divider? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's not for me. I feel like it's not good yet. It's not very nice yet. Let's try to put a divider and see how it looks like. Just trying. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Manage all your sales in one place. Manage all your sales in one place. Can put here my my stock, and then you put here some description. Manage this one also. Manage all your stock in one place. edit and manage your stock items I think that is okay uh, statistics statistics view your sales and stock statistics view your sales and stock statistics I think that's okay uh, web dashboard Full access, access, full access to your account online. Yeah. 
yeah that's okay yeah remove that web dashboard okay oh, that's fine i think that's fine i think that's fine i think that's fine we proceed we proceed we proceed uh we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed okay let's proceed now uh we go now to this is complete you can manage yourselves this is what you can i'm going to do here stock uh my, my main statistics are going to just do some landing and describe and then we link the person to the web because we want to do these st statistics in the web okay so let's go ahead and do that let's come here So we're going to make now the landing of uh, the statistics. Uh, so on these statistics, with this my stock is done, uh, sale is done. So on these statistics, we're going to introduce the user to the web. So we're going to tell the user how it is important to have the statistics at your shop. And uh, at this moment, the mobile application does not provide complete statistics, statistics of the uh, of the of the app okay so therefore if they want to preview the statistics they should proceed to the web dashboard and then we give them a what a button to proceed to the web dashboard so we're going that's what we're going to do right now okay uh, so let's go ahead and create a statistics screen so i'll go ahead and come here to the menu route and then we're going to come and create stats that's what statistics uh, directory or you can call it maybe common directory or home directory say common okay so from all the things so let's go ahead and put here a new file and call it uh, statistics uh, statistics screen dot that okay so go and create here uh a state what <laughs> a stateful uh screen and then you go ahead and import this all right so after doing that uh we're going to remove this and then you're going to have our scaffold we're going to put the write up okay so scaffold with statistics now we're going to put here the what the write up. So let's go ahead and uh, and what and link the statistics to this statistics uh, button. So we shall go to a menu route and then go to where there is statistics and then come and put here statistics screen like this. So I save. Now if we click on the statistics screen to take us with what to the statistics uh, this one. Okay, the statistic crowd. Okay, so I think you can do a better. You think this one it says it's a cappuccino, ca cappuccino navigation bar. Okay, that is also okay. Uh, so as we said, we're going to describe. I mean, put here single child scroll view, and then in it, we're going to put here uh, statistics. So in it, uh, in it, we're going to describe. Um, okay, in this one, we're going to describe uh, the advantage of statistics, and then we're going to tell the user the statistics are not in the, on the mobile app, and also if they want to do the statistics, they press the button to launch the web and then you'll be able to get the complete statistics. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So to make that right up, uh, we're going to use Copilot. I mean, sorry, we're going to use um, ChatGPT. So I'll go home to ChatGPT. I believe you already know ChatGPT. If you don't know, you can just create an account and go to ChatGPT. Uh, so in this ChatGPT, I'm going to say, I'm going to come here and let me zoom. And they say, I'll tell it my problem. I am creating a mobile app 
for inventory management system the app is 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 called inventor track okay it has mobile app and web dashboard okay so right now uh, the app performs performs all upper operations that support all operations uh, but it does not have statis statistics <clears throat> feature feature the statistics feature is is on the web dashboard okay create a simple write up that uh, we shall that i will i will display to the users mobile app screen when they press the what the statistics button explaining explaining to them briefly the briefly the advantage of of shop uh, stroke store hasta uh, stroke or maybe stroke inventory statistics and tell them tell them how the mobile mobile app does not have stats dashboard I mean stats UI at the moment tell them to press the dashboard button below to access access status I mean access updated statistics via the web dashboard mm, so i press enter so copilot i mean sorry chat gpt is going to explain for me a few things you see uh so it gives me that let's just say how, what gemini can do so gemini is also like chat gpt but for google so i can just come and copy this and then come and paste it here Okay. So it this one says understand the power of data and then why statics are important, then access the stay tuned. Uh okay, so yeah. This one says why it matters accessing the statistics. I don't know which one you should use. Okay. Uh, welcome to the track the timeline companion uh -huh. inventory is valuable insights while your mobile apps like the statistic interface uh, you can easily access so which one should you use all of them they're having good write-ups okay i think you should use this of the So let's begin. So we're going to come here and put a what? Sorry. Ah, 
so I can just I can just simply turn this one to uh, make this I can say maybe change make this a well designed designed what flutter screen code with with what with with what with the class with the screen class class name called tick, tick, like this it's going to make for me a flutter code <laughs> can just copy the same and put here in gemini top 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 so i want to make it for me a code so i will not suffer with that so i can just copy this code come and paste it here the code has no error i just save uh -huh, what are they saying again play first go back okay uh -huh, now i click on statistics okay what is this statistics screen then you write statistics screen like that let me run the code again so this is the gemini one this is the chat gpt let's see the gemini this is the gemini yep so let's see which one will work for us so i click on statistics ah, that's ugly let's try this one copy the code okay Ctrl A, Ctrl V. Uh, remove this primary colors. Alright, so I think this one is maybe better. Mm -hmm. So here have the button to access the web. Alright, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go with that one. Yeah. Let's go with this one, okay? Uh, so that is when someone click on uh, the, the statistics. Okay, so when you click on the web dashboard, we shall just take you to the what? To the web dashboard. All right. So let's go ahead and put the URL launcher. So come here uh, on uh, Google and search for Flutter URL launcher. Okay. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, open that one. Then I'll go ahead and copy the installer. Come here to install. Copy this one. Then come and put here. Then you run it to install the URL launcher. This one will enable us to launch the URL. Okay. So we have installed this URL launcher and then here I want to alert someone uh, alert we are about to open a web page. So let's go ahead and do that. So shall I just simply put here. Some alert and put get dot what get dot 
default okay default dialog okay let's go ahead and import this gate so just show someone you're about to launch your array okay i think we can just do this one as a what as a as a as a utility so you can just be calling it anywhere you want to launch a what a url so let me go to our utils so i can come here and put url launcher it's not returning anything so i'll be taking only url string url like this so it is just asking um open the web let's say you're about to launch you whatever to the web and then ah, like this yeah so let's go ahead and try and call it here Okay. just a launcher so she'll come here to our statistics screen. so she'll just simply call utils dot what dot launch url launcher and then you pass the url okay so our url is going to be uh up i mean utils remember we have some constants dot app url api url is the api url okay Maybe you can just put the dashboard URL, okay? So this one doesn't have. You can just replace the URL, I mean API, with, uh, and then she'll be able to have the dashboard. But replace all API with what? You can just simply say API with nothing. So by doing like that, she'll have the web URL. So now when someone will click on uh, on what on statistics and then click on this, you see, we're about to do this. Second new, we proceed. Cancel, we proceed. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do what and do the launcher. Let's go ahead and do now the real launcher. So to launch your rail, you come here to our documentation come here to example okay so this is how you launch the url where is it <laughs> this is how you launch the url the first check <laughs> Thanks. This one, launch browser. Yeah. Okay. So when someone clicks continue, we come here and launch browser like this. Let's make this one asynchronous. Just say launch URL launch and then we import it. So it's going to be URL. Uh, so let's see. This one needs to be a what? Need to be a URI. So I use URI dot what? Dot encode eh? dot pass. Let's see. Yeah, dot pass URL. Yeah, like this. Okay, let's see if it is now fine. Okay, so this is how you launch the URL. Really, how you launch the browser. So click access continue. If you launch the what? The browser, let's see if it is just put the correct URL. Perfect, just put the put the what? The correct URL. That is so nice. Alright, so we are able to launch the what? The browser. So that is how we are going to be showing the what? The statistics on the browser. Alright, so that's okay so come here so you want to access the web if you cancel you remain there and you're going to do the same button here on the what on the on the dashboard 
Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same button on the dashboard. So on the dashboard, we come here, the menu route. So when you click on dashboard, let's come here. When you click on dashboard, when you click on dashboard, we go ahead and use it is the launch URL and then yeah. So that's what we're going to put on the dashboard. So you click on web dashboard, we show you what we're about to uh, open web dashboard. So when you click on open web dashboard, it will launch you to the web dashboard. Alright. So employees, employees, that is okay. Uh, employee, that's okay. Uh -huh, so store categories, store categories, store categories, that's okay. Financial period, that is okay. Financial period, okay. So it's not, going to, it's not taking you to financial period. So financial period, let us pick the financial periods because we already have that screen. Uh, financial period, so we shall come to a menu route. Financial period, this one here. So I should take you to the screen of what? Uh, financial period, okay. I think that's okay. All right, so I think we, uh, we put it in the wrong place. It should be financial period screen. All right, so that is okay. So I click on financial period, take it to a financial period screen. Okay, so financial period screen, then I have generate reports. So generate reports, generate reports are going to also show to the uh, web, okay? Generate reports, also going to launch someone to the web. Call the reports will be generated in the web, okay? Uh, download data, uh, so download data. We're also going to take someone to the web. Uh, download data, just take someone to the web. Something like that. Download my data. It takes you to the web. All right, so delete my account. Download data. Download my data, take me to the web. Delete my account, delete my account, delete my account, delete my account. Uh, delete my account, you're going to create a Google form where someone can request to delete the account. Let us go ahead and create a Google form. Uh, Google form to delete your account. Sorry. Google form to delete your account, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and put also a launcher there. Delete my account. Delete my account. Okay, so we're going to take someone to delete the account. Okay, we're going to launch it to delete account. Delete account. Where is it? It's going to be here. Delete my account. So you're going to create a Google form. Google form. Let's create a new form. It's going to look much more like this one. Okay. Let's create, I create a new. Okay. Let's create a new form. Google Docs forms and then create a new one. So I'm going to call this one Inventor Track. Inventor Track Account and Data Deletion Request Form. Uh -huh. So we put this description okay by filling this form. You're requesting to delete your account for undetected information. Uh, hey, you're requesting to deletion of your account and all information related to it. Uh, so we put here the first question, uh, your email address, your email address, email address, uh, we're going to make it uh -huh, make it compulsory, okay, and then 
another question are you sure you want to delete so uh, the first option will be yes and then make it also uh, compulsory are you sure you want to delete your uh, to, you want to you want your account to be deleted yeah so that is our simple what uh, our simple deletion request form all right so let's put here the title to be the same and then we send so when you click on send we're going to do what we're going to click here on uh, share link you can shorten it then copy do not collect so maybe if you want verified email and then you copy that so after copying the link you're going to come here and paste this link here okay remove all this and put this link so if someone not delete their account okay remove all this put that so when someone delete their account when someone wants to delete their account you come here and click on delete account then we launch them to this one a form that requests account what account deletion okay yeah so that's it and then we log that person out immediately I think that's what you're going to be doing and then we log that person out okay that is deleting accounts uh-huh so about the app okay about the app let's go ahead and create a simple about us screen i mean uh, let me just come here and just come to Gemini, say create a flutter screen of about the same app. Okay, so it's going to create for us the about us screen. Mm -hmm. So that is the about us screen. So let me come and add it here come and add it here uh, in common come and put here new screen new file about screen dot that then come and copy this and then come and paste it here okay so come here to about screen then come here to a menu route and you click on about us about us where is about okay this is uh delete my account sorry delete my account the link is supposed to be on top there man, 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 man. so the link is supposed to be here for delete my account okay then ready to protect delete my account the link is supposed to be here so the about screen you should get user to about screen like this Okay, so I think that is okay. Delete. Huh? Ahead, man. Please delete. Uh, delete my account. Delete my data. Delete my account. That is repetition. Let's remove one. Okay, so it's about screen. Okay, so about screen. There it is so the about screen when someone click on the about screen yeah that's the about screen so when you just put there the image of the logo so you can put here logo.png yeah so you get a track is a mobile app and way but and what yeah that is a website so website you can put here uh, website you can put here let's put here what our details this right dot app will replace Replace all the what? Let's work API with this. OK. 
okay that is our website and then on top when someone clicks on this we can just simply and just simply do this and launch the spring someone clicks here yeah All right so your company Just a simple about a screen. Okay, manager. Ah, I think that's okay. That is okay. That is okay. That is okay. I'm going to track. Delete my accounts already done. Contact us. Contact us. You can just put them. Uh, so contact us. Contact us. What should you do there? Just take them to the about a screen. We can just simply come here and say create contact as screen for the same uh, email uh, put my email and then put comma phone number plus two five six seven eight three two zero four six six five and then put also whatsapp ah i think that's okay placed in uganda created by inverto truck team so create that so to create for me the creator contact us screen okay so i'll just go ahead and create that contact us screen come here to common new file contact us screen dot dot like this come and copy this and paste it there so after doing so go ahead and put the contact us screen the contact us screen contact us screen here contact us screen okay 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 so yeah that's it that's it that's it that's it that's it mm -hmm. contact us you see those are contact us the email is there it launches the email uh-huh the phone number it launches the phone number that's beautiful and then the whatsapp it launches whatsapp it's there okay so yeah that is so nice that's so nice let's contact us and then we're going to put now the logic of logout and we work on the process of uh, logging in logging out all that let's do that in the next video let's do that in the next lecture see you we are going to do the all the real real finishing of the app and if time allows you upload it on the play store See you there.